Hi, I'm Peter, a product expert here at Upkeep. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to data import parts within Upkeep. Let's look at our agenda for today. I'm gonna to provide a quick overview on this and demonstration so that you can get started importing right away. First, let's look at overview. Now with parts, you can do many things with this. You can import new parts data. You can export your currently existing data. You can also make updates to currently existing parts to a changed data. Now, the max limit you can input when importing new parts is 1,000 on a CSV file. However, within the app, there's no limit to how much you can have. All right, so let's go right along and dive into the demonstration of this. Now, first things first, you're gonna go here in this parts and inventory section. And once you do that, it'll take you here where you can see all your parts. So I wanna go ahead and import new parts first. So what I'll do is click on these three vertical dots and click import. Once you do so, then it'll take you here and you click on that middle box where you can select download our sample template. And once you've done that, that will take you here and you'll, it'll download a, a parts import CSV file. So this is how it looks like. A um, few things here. Row one, that's where your parts uh, column titles are. So this part um, has to be consistent. So don't change this or move the columns around or it will cause a import error. And then row two is where you usually have your sample data. Um, I've removed that for this demonstration here, but if you haven't done so already, um, let's say you have like existing parts information, just make sure to remove row two. All right, so let's take a look at this example. I have Clorox wipes. Um, I have my description, quantity, all in here. Cost per unit is just the cost for a single unit of this specific part. Um, one quick rule is when you're putting this down, make sure not to put the dollar sign, just the number. And then also serial number, that's synonymous with barcode number. And then you can also put things like minimum quantity. So let's say you put a minimum quantity of 10 and that's like the threshold. Anytime the quantity is below that, that'll be reflected within the app. It'll be in red and then you'll get this little message saying running low. All right, and then everything else, things like location ID, asset ID, these things have to exist first within the app, and then you can input those. All right, so everything looks good here. I'm gonna make sure this is saved. And then once I do that, I'm gonna click on the three dots again, click on import. This time, click on that bottom box that says import your file. And then here, where it says parts import, I'm gonna open it and see how it looks like within the app. All right, so it was here, Clorox wipes, and everything does look good. Um, quantity, description, things like cost, even the assigned location. So all that information on that spreadsheet was reflected accurately within the app. Okay, so that's how you import parts. Let's talk about updating uh, currently existing parts information. If you have to make updates into maybe the cost of one of your parts, you can do that easily within the app. But if you have to make mass changes to, let's say you have 50 to 100 parts you wanna make changes to, uh, it's best using this update section. So we're gonna click here where it says updates. And when you click on download current parts, uh, we can remove this import data. It's gonna look like this. So let's say, for the Clorox wipes example that we created, instead of $8 as the cost per unit, I want to make it 10. So once I do that, I can save this and then use this file now to go and upload that in the CSV file by clicking into this red box. So from here, I'm gonna use that file click open and once it's imported let's see if that reflected change was made 
So that was for Clorox wipes. So instead of $8 as the unit costs, perfect. So now you can see that reflected change has been made. It's now $10. All right, and then last thing, you can also export your existing parts data as well. That's going to look very similar to the updates parts data. So just keep that in mind. And then one rule of advice is whenever you're importing, updating, or exporting, just make sure you're going to the specific sections that you need to go. So for instance, if I go here to export parts to CSV file and use that file to try to import new parts, um, I'm gonna get an error message. So just always make sure you're going to the correct sections when doing these. All right, so that's a quick rundown on data importing parts. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. But I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.